السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ پیس اینڈ بلیسنگس آف اللہ ٹو آل آف یو لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹمین ویلکم دا ٹاپک از واٹ القرآن سیز اباؤٹ الروح دا اسپرٹ آف اللہ بفور آئی ڈسکس دی آیاس ریلیونٹ ٹو دس ٹاپک I would like to give a small preview of what you are going to hear. First of all, the definition of a human being. Who is a human being? In Arabic, there is a word bashar, which means human, as all of we are all humans. And this human contains a body, a physical body and soul or the self or the psyche. This self or psyche is referred in the Arabic as nafs. Nafs, the psyche. Nafsiyat, psychology. And physically you can see the physical structure, the physical aspect of a human is body. And in between there is the spirit between the body and the soul and that spirit we are going to discuss in generally in the languages in english and in urdu also sometimes the psychology the nafs or the soul of the psyche is uh, mentioned as spirit also soul and spirit is two different words in arabic ruh is spirit and soul is psyche but sometimes it's used as a synonym sometimes the people use the word synony synonymly that the spirit and psyche you know they as a similar thing but they are different to understand the spirit what is a spirit like for example i am using certain words in english and you are hearing those words you are understanding the sense the essence what i'm saying the words when you hear spoken to you the understanding that comes to you is through the spirit anyone who speaks or writes a book or factual or unfactual whatever a person when he speaks that is the understanding that you perceive through a medium is the spirit of anybody or if you take up scientific facts you and try to understand a factual thing on the in the world a scientific fact established a principle established how you understand that you you read certain words which describe that fact and once the fact is understood that is the spirit you have understood that is the spirit of that fact and it can be understood when it's understood it comes in your own language You have, once you have understood, whether you, speak, you have learned in English and you speak Urdu language, you will understand the spirit, the essence of that fact or that principle. So that is the spirit in English language, that is the meaning of the spirit or the essence of any particular aspect of life. Similarly, human beings, they speak to each other. You speak to me, I speak to you, we use words. And when the words, the essence that are, is transferred, that is the essence we understand that is the spirit that you are trying to say this thing you are trying to say this word whatever you are saying the spirit i have understood the essence i have understood so when i say what the quran has to say about the ar-ruh the spirit of allah that means allah has provided this book this book and it contains words when we read the quran we are reading the words of allah and by virtue when you ponder on those words similar the words of allah you understand the spirit of allah that is the ar-ruh the spirit of allah likewise you any read, read any book you try to understand the spirit the essence of that book you have understood it that is the spirit of that book similarly allah's book when you're reading Allah's book, it contains, those words contain the spirit, the essence. 
And once you've understood the spirit, the essence of that particular ayah of a, of a Quranic book, Quran ayats, you have understand, understood the spirit, the essence of that ayah. I'm using, I'm explaining you these words, but when we read the ayahs, we'll confirm what I'm saying. Similarly, in the Christian world, there is a personality as referred as Holy Ghost or the spirit of truth. This is also almost the same thing what they are trying to say in the Bible when they read the Bible and they, that is their point of view. But it is the same thing, the spirit, the essence of, of Allah when they say Holy Ghost. But in the true sense, when you read the Quranic ayat, the words of Allah, the book of Allah, and the essence that you perceive is the spirit of Allah. This is the topic. And in the Quran, this spirit is referred as Holy Spirit or Ruhul Qudus. Ruh, the spirit in Qudus is holy. Ruhul Qudus or Ruhul Amin, the trustworthy spirit. This, this spirit of Allah, when you read the Quranic ayahs, you understand the essence, the spirit, the ruh, is referred in the Quran as Ruhul Qudus, the Holy Spirit, or Ruhul Amin, the trustworthy spirit that you can trust on it. You can, you can trust that. That is the Ruhul Amin, the trustworthy spirit. And it is named as Jibreel. It is named as Jibreel. Normally people think that Jibreel is an angel. But Jibreel is the Ruh al Amin or the Ruh al Qudus, meaning the spirit of trustworthy spirit or the Holy Spirit of Allah's ayahs, of Allah's book from, Al from Allah. This is the medium, the messenger through which we understand the ayahs of Allah. So now, we will see what I've just now said by the ayahs, how we understand when we read the Quranic ayahs, and we see that the ruh, how the Allah has defined the ruh in the ayahs. So first of all, we read in uh, the Al-Isra, the surah is 17, and ayah 85, 86, and 87. وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الرُّوحِ قُلِ الرُّوحُ مِنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّي وَمَا أُوْتِيْتُمْ مِنَ الْعِلْمِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا وَلَنْ شِئْنَا لَذَهَبَنَّا بِالَّذِي أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ ثُمَّ لَا تَجِدُ لَكَ بِهِ عَلَيْنَا وَكِيلًا إِلَّا رَحْمَةً مِنْ رَبِّكَ إِنَّ فَضْلَهُ كَانَ عَلَيْكَ كَبِيرًا And they ask you about a ruh, the spirit, Say, Ar-Ruh, the spirit, is from the order of my Lord. And from the knowledge you are given, except little. And definitely it was, if it was our will, we would definitely take away what we have inspired towards you. Then for you, you will not find with it any advocate over us, except the mercy from your Lord. Surely his bounty is great over you. In this ayah, the, the question is posed by mankind through to the messenger, Muhammad peace be upon him. They ask you, they question you about the ar-ruh, the spirit. Because people are confused in the world about the spirit of Allah, the essence and the ruh of Allah. So people are asking they ask you about the spirit, the essence. That is why this topic is being delivered. Through Muhammad Rasulullah, they're asking him, what is ruh? Yes, aluna ka ruh. They ask you about the spirit. What is ruh? So Allah says, Qul. Qul ruhu min amri rabbi. Say, the ruh, the spirit is from the order of Allah. Whenever Allah orders, so that the spirit is transferred to mankind, it orders the spirit essence, it, it is unveiled to us. When we read the words, when Allah orders, the essence you come to know. But it further says that the knowledge of the spirit, of the essence of Allah's ayahs, is given to mankind little. 
the whole book of Allah contains the words of Allah and the whole book is not unveiled to mankind except little the essence of that book and we can see in the whole world that the majority of the people first of all the the non-arabic people people who are reading the Quran in only Arabic so they understand nothing they understand nothing so they can't understand the essence of the Allah's ayahs the spirit of essence of Allah's ayahs then there are people who read the Quran with the translation of the essence the translation still they read the translation but they don't understand the essence because it has to come from the order of Allah when Allah orders or wills then you understand the essence and the spirit of that particular ayah so Allah says in this ayah say the spirit of is from the order of Allah of, of my Lord and from the knowledge you are given except a little so the essence and the spirit the knowledge of the ayahs and the essence is to mankind little it is not understood the majority of the people do not understand and we can see in the world that the very 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 few people understand the essence of the book of Allah because Allah doesn't order he doesn't convey his, his essence to all mankind very little is understood and further it says and definitely it was, if it was our will we would certainly take away what we have inspired to you referring to Muhammad Rasulullah that once the inspiration is given he can also take away the essence you've got the essence of the message of ayahs the book of Allah and he can take away then you will find no one no no product no advocate over us so when the ayat essence is understood he can also take away so it says accept the mercy from your Lord surely his Lord is great over you his bounty is great over you so normally in the man in the world mankind have not been able to penetrate or understand the book of Allah the spirit essence of Allah meaning through the words when we read the Quranic they, they are in words in word form in sentences in ayahs their words but the essence of it is not understood except little this is the the ayat explaining itself that the ruh or the essence is understood little <clears throat> now we will see this ayah was referring to Muhammad peace be upon him that they are asking you but the origin of ruh it contains man does mankind contain the spirit because we I told you we have got we are a body and a soul and in between is the soul spirit the essence the spirit you read in the Quran Surah Saad and Ayah 72 71 72 73 and 74 and 76 if call a book a little malaika in the Khalikum Basharam in Tween Faida Savay to who one of to fee him in Ruhi Fakaula who Sajidin Fasadal Fasajadal Malaika Kulum Ajmaroon Illa Iblis Stagbar Wakana Mil Kafirin Allah and a Khairum Minu Halakani Min Nar Wahalakahu Min Tween when your Lord said for the angels surely I am the creator of the human from clay when I have made him even or proportionate and breathe into him from my spirit the Ruh then fall down prostrating for him so the angels prostrated all of them together except Iblis the devil who seek or sought greatness and became from the rejectors he said I am the better one from him you created me from fire and created him from clay now in this I have a you note that Allah has bestowed this ruh the essence in the Bashar the human and once he has breath the spirit the essence in the Bashar he asked the angels to bow down for that Bashar why because he has put his essence in that Bashar the human so essence of what Allah's book Allah's ayat and 
people have been asking me this question that bowing is for Allah alone. Why did the Allah ask to bow down for Adam or the Bashar? Allah did not ask to only bow down for Adam. He asked the angels to bow down after he has put his essence in that Bashar, the spirit, the ruh, and his ruh, his essence, his essence in the spirit. The Bashar that contains the essence, the spirit, you have to bow down for, for that person because he contains the essence, the spirit. So in other words, the, all mankind has got the ruh, the spirit of Allah in him. But it has to be inspired. It has to be inspired by Allah. Then you understand. So in this ayah you note, إِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي خَالِكُمْ بَشْرٌ مِنْ تِينَ And when your Lord said for the angels, surely I am the creator of a human from clay. فَإِذَا سَوَّيْتُهُ When I made him even and proportionate that human and breathe into him from my ruh, the spirit. وَنَفَقْتُ Sorry. وَنَفَقْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِ When I breathe, not physical breathe, but inspiration, the breathe, my spirit, the essence in that bashar. فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ then you, then you bow down for that person, that bashar, because I have breath, my spirit, my essence, my essence. My essence means you can understand the Allah's message, Allah's words, His essence, the spirit. You bow down for that person. So every human being contains the spirit. And when I am speaking, you can differentiate my words with the essence, the spirit of Allah's words. You can differentiate when I speak and when ayas is being spoken, you can feel the difference. That when I say, Faida Savaituhu, when I made him even and breathe into him from my ruh, the spirit, then fall down prostrating for him. These are not my words. This is the essence or the spirit of the words of Allah. Then when Allah has breathed his spirit, the essence, into the bashar, then he expects, he orders the angels to bow down for that bashar. So that is how you understand the spirit. You can do, make a difference that I am pointing towards that spirit. This is me reading the ayahs. You can differentiate the words of Allah, the ayahs of Allah and me talking. So the angels prostrated all of them, all of them together to the bashar containing the spirit. Containing the essence. Except Iblis, who sought greatness and became from the rejectors. Now, Iblis means the person who is wrapped up in grief. Who is wrapped up in grief. Iblis. He did not bow down for the Bashar containing the spirit. And look what he says, the argument. He says, "Kala ana khairu minhu, khalak tani min nar, wa khalak tahu min tin." He did not bow down for that, but, but the human being which contained the spirit, the essence, the spirit, the essence, and he diverted the the, the, the order in an argument about the creation that he has, that you have created me from fire. And you have created the Basha, the human, by clay. The order was to bow down to a person containing the spirit. The order was this. But he just minus the spirit, exclude the spirit. And you, he's, he's, he's pointing towards that I should bow down to a person who has been born or you created him from, from clay and me from fire. A baseless argument. And you will note, whenever the Allah's ayat, the essence are clear to mankind, he gets confused and start talking on certain words, false standards, self-created standards. 
what is fire and what is earth if you just start comparing look the fire is is, is, is the creation of the fire is more important or the fire uh, the creation of of uh, clay is not equivalent or is lower you, you know in an argument which doesn't require the order was to bow down for that bhakshya who contains the spirit you reject that and you, you pick up another an issue that the fire is more valuable or the, fire, the clay is more lesser of a value that you created that man the bashar from clay and you have created me for fire so what i am saying is this is how the spirit is always uh, minus by mankind because the knowledge of it is given little always man get confused and start talking and debating on certain aspects and issues which are of no importance in, com in comparison to Allah's ayahs and the essence of the message. That is important. The, you have to look at the message. The message was to bow down for Adam or Bashar which contained the spirit, the essence. We have to bow down because and in, the, in the world you will note that mankind not physical, I've seen physical bowing to people. Mankind is bowing physically to human being. And psychologically also they are submitting to man. Not the essence contained in that person. They are physically giving respect to human beings. They are bowing to man, the human beings. Not the essence. And look how the mankind Allah has provided us and explained us. Whenever we recite an ayah in salah, the prayer, the imam, the leader, he reads an ayah. You listen to the ayahs. The essence of an ayah you understand or not, but you listen to the ayahs in Arabic text. And what happens? The imam doesn't stand. He bows. And all of the people bows to the ayahs. Prostrate to the ayahs. The imam himself. And we all follow that. So we all are in, 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 in uh, falling, bowing and prostrating to what? To the ayats of Allah, to the essence of Allah. So that is how Allah has taught us in the, the, the prayers that when our ayats are recited, you bow and prostrate to it psychologically. If you understood the message, you can't stand. You have to pay respect by bowing and prostrating and agreeing to the essence. Agreeing to the essence. Not just physical bowing and prostrating. Not understanding anything. The Imam doesn't stand and delivers the talk and expects people to bow down. But in the world, the contrary, contrary is happening that mankind are asking questions, knowledge from a man. And that man can say anything. And people believe in that. Trust in that. They don't trust the trustworthy spirit that is the spirit of Allah, uh, uh, Amin, the Ruhul Qudus, but they trust the human beings. And this is done by the devil because he is the person who minus the spirit in the beginning, creating a false standard, fire and fire and uh, clay diverting from the spirit minusing the spirit what was the order was to bow down for Adam for Bashar <clears throat> so now we have come to know from this ayah that the spirit the essence is contained in every human being but it has to be inspired when we deliver uh, whenever a talk is being delivered everybody human being in the hall or wherever this lecture has been listened, you are listening two things. I talking and at the, at the same time reciting the ayahs. And once you are trying to listening to that, you, are making, you should make a difference between me and the essence that you are receiving from the ayahs. That I have, we have come to know that the, that, the, that the Bashar contains the spirit. So everybody contains the spirit of Allah. So he must recognize the spirit of Allah when it is being spoken. When the words of Allah is being spoken, because it is in him. How will you judge? How a person can judge that it is from Allah or it is a human talking? So Allah has given this spirit in every human being to analyze from that spirit. 
He can make a difference between a man and the spirit. When the spirit of Allah is being spoken, when the ayahs are being spoken, he can make a difference because the words of Allah are the words of Allah is the book of Allah. So those words, from that words you can understand the spirit. And when human beings speak, it is his spirit. He is trying to convey something. That is his. But once you listen to the words, how will you analyze? Because you have got the spirit, in, everybody has got the spirit of Allah in him. So he must be able to recognize and can make a difference between the spirit of Allah and a human spirit. Now, you know this spirit was also given to Adam, all mankind, and especially it describes that it was given to Maryam alayhi salam. And I am referring to this ayah because specifically it is mentioned with her also. Surah Tahrim 66 and ayah 12. وَمَرْيَمَ بْنَتَ عِمْرَانَ الَّتِي أَحْسَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَفَقْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا وَصَدَّقَتْ بِكَلِمَاتِ رَبِّهَا وَكُتُبِهِ وَكَانَتْ مِنِ الْقَانِدِينَ And Maryam Mary, the daughter of Imran, who fortified, guarded her gaps, the private parts, then we breathe into her, our ruh, the spirit, she was truthful, with the words of her Lord and his books, she was from the devout ones. In this ayah, you can understand simply and very clearly that, that I was speaking about the words, words of Allah, the book of Allah. And once the spirit is, was given to Maryam, she understood she, the words of Allah. She was truthful with the words of our Lord and His books. Why Allah is referring was sadaqat bi kalimati rabbiha wa kutubihi? Because through the words of Allah, from the books of Allah, you understand the spirit. The ruh, the spirit was sent to Maryam. Who, who is that Maryam? Mary? Peace be upon her. She is a pious woman in the Quran, the mother of Jesus, peace be upon him. 